Yo guys, Spirit of the Law here. Pretty simple video for you today on a question that I've been asked about a few times. And in this video, I'm gonna be looking at ram speed and exactly how that's affected by the number and the type of troops that are garrisoned inside of it. It's easy to tell that a fully garrisoned battering ram definitely moves faster than an ungarrisoned one. And in this video, I'll look at the factors that determine how fast it ultimately goes. The battering ram works a bit like carpooling in a city with HOV lanes, and bringing along a few extra passengers makes a trip faster for everyone. Plus, carpooling is always a great way for the environmentally conscious kingdom builder who wants to offset the ecological footprint that your civilization's leaving behind through overfishing, hunting, strip mining, and clear cutting. It's probably not quite making your empire carbon neutral, but every little bit helps, right? As you probably already know, the battering and capped rams hold 4 units inside of them, and the siege ram can hold 6, which not only protects those units from arrows, but also improves the speed and the attack of the rams themselves. The first question we might ask is which units can garrison into rams? In the standard Age of Conquerors or HD versions, it's basically any infantry or archer unit. The units that can't are the siege units, including the petard, cavalry units, which includes elephants and camels, monks, trade carts, animals, kings, and villagers. In the Forgotten Empire's expansion, villagers can go into rams, which is theoretically handy for getting them to the front lines to do a castle drop, or for a really sneaky way to get them past wolves. So now that we know which units can garrison, we might wonder if the unit type matters when it comes to ram speed. Here I have a selection of archers and a selection of infantry covering many different speeds. There's everything from a Teutonic Knight up to an Eagle Warrior, and we can see how they all affect the speed that the rams move at. Starting all the rams at the same time, we can see first of all that all of the infantry are at the same speed. It doesn't matter how fast the garrison infantry itself is, they all seem to contribute the same once they're in the ram. We also notice the infantry filled rams are faster than the archer filled rams and that the longbowmen are also very aggressive drivers. Just because there's no roads doesn't mean you can drive wherever you want, dude. We'll do the two archers on the end again and compare it to an ungarrisoned ram. We can clearly see in this test that archers don't affect the speed of the ram at all. So now let's dig a bit deeper in this infantry and ram relationship. First of all, we can see that the relationship is linear and adding more infantry makes the ram faster for each one that you add. Remember the stats of the infantry don't make any difference at all, so a Militia, Champion, Teutonic Knight, Haskarl, it's all the same and they contribute the same to the ram speed, it just comes down to the number of units that are inside of it. So that's the general mechanic, but now let's take a look into a few specifics and at the upgrades. I've grabbed the alignment grid for this test to make things a bit more visual, and basically I'm going to have the different ram upgrades go across the map with different numbers of infantry units garrisoned, and then try to work backwards and figure out the formula. It turns out it's much easier than the market one. The battering ram and capped ram both have a speed of half a tile per second, completely ungarrisoned, and that goes up 0.05 for each infantry added, to a maximum of 0.7 tiles per second. The siege ram, on the other hand, is a bit faster, and starts at 0.6 tiles per second ungarrisoned, and goes up to a maximum of 0.9 tiles per second, because it can hold more infantry than the others. That's great, but what does that mean? Is 0.7 Age of Empires tiles in one Age of Empires second fast? To put it in context, let's take a look at the speed of some other units. I didn't include every unit in the game here, but it should be enough to give us a nice variety for context and to show where rams settle within the grand scheme of things. On the right are the fastest units tested, and on the left are the slowest. The rams fit within this range, with the bar representing the possible speed depending on how many infantry are garrisoned inside of it. We can see the battering and capped rams are incredibly slow units without a garrison significantly slower than even the unupgraded war elephant, and only two-thirds the speed of the trebuchet. That can increase though, when fully garrisoned, to almost the speed of a villager, and faster than the Teutonic Knight without squires, or the post-imperial war elephant. If you incorporate the siege ram here as well, we can see its range goes between the unupgraded war elephant up to the swordsman line without squires, and significantly outpacing both the trebuchet and the villager. The last thing our visual here needs is some info about the rams after the Mongol unique tech. Their tech, Drills, says it increases siege workshop unit speed by 50%. 
A quick test shows that adding more infantry still has the same effect on speed, but it just starts the ram at 0.9 tiles per second instead of 0.6. That means a siege ram with drill goes as fast ungarrisoned as a fully garrisoned siege ram without drill. And a full Mongol siege ram with drill goes as fast as a scout in the Dark Age, a plumed archer, or a woad raider without squires. For the Mongols, that means that the siege ram can move faster than any of the units that you could be garrisoning them with. Car pooling wasn't a big thing in the Age of Empires world unless you were, wait for it, the Mongols. So that's ram speed, and I look forward to seeing your bat rams speeding around the map. Take it easy guys, and I'll see you next time.